Back on the fan and a little more history about Henson Park. We love rugby league stories and let's talk about the only ever scoreless draw in the history of the New South Wales Rugby League Premiership or the NRL. It was 1982, round five, Newtown versus Canterbury. And you've got to think about the two sides. Newtown had the slashing young fullback Phil Sigsworth, Ray Blacklock, Chicka Ferguson, the prolific point scorer Ken Wilson, who could drop field goals from anywhere. The Canterbury side, the Mortimer brothers, Greg Bretnell at fullback, the Hughes brothers, and between them over 80 minutes, 33 scrums, 20 penalties, 53 stoppages, there was no point scored. A nil all draw. Let's go to the match report, albeit there might be many highlights. Dull. Boring, negative, I mean, how else would you describe a scoreless draw in rugby league? Rugby league, a game that prides itself on action, spectacular tries. But there it was, Newtown and Canterbury, battling away at Henson Park last Sunday, playing out a nil or draw. There were dropped balls and there were missed scoring chances. But I didn't find this game that wrote a page in rugby league's history so boring. The tension mounted as it became a possibility that neither team, for the first time in the game's history, was going to score a point. The defence was tough, brutally tough, and the pressure immense. And in this area, not one player showed signs of wilting. I found it somewhat exciting to be a part of rugby league history. The uncertainty of not knowing which team would score first, or whether, in fact, either team would score at all. Boring? No, not for me. And who was it that said records were made to be broken? I'd like to be around the day this record, Canterbury and Newtown set, is broken. OK, let's hear more about that game from a man who played in it, a great player. Phil Sigsworth, he also had the greatest nickname. What's a packeter? And Newtown being ridden home by some enthusiastic spectators here. And Sigsworth's going to score in the corner, and that's as easy as you like. And Sigsworth just carved the manly three quarters up, and ate him and spat him out. Sigsworth, the chip. Sigsworth 